a few days later he would show his face just looking at me and I would still not approach him I would just talk about my day and repeat uh, the ritual Hello friends, today we are going to draw this uh, cat uh, head and I'm using uh, markers and the fine liner but you can also join with colored pencils or whatever you have laying around and I will teach you step by step so it will be uh, all okay and I have an orange color and a lighter orange color and uh, a, a light purple but I start with my fine liner I'm going to draw the eye first almost in the middle of our paper and I will use this line with a little half a circle inside of it and um, I also you draw uh, I will also draw a pupil and some light reflection and the light reflection will be a negative space that we're not going to color in and I do it the same on the other side but that eye will be a little bit uh, smaller because when I sit like this like our cat you can see this eye is uh, much bigger visually than this eye my eyes are still uh, the same luckily <laughs> but when I look like this this eye will be bigger and this eye will be more squished together then I'm going to draw our cat nose with a T shape T and a little line inside of it then I'm going to color in the eyes with a yellow color and I also will be mindful of the negative space I will keep that uh, negative for the light reflection just like that and here are our cat eyes and then I'm going to draw the cat mouth and I start with the bottom of the nose and I will make um, half a circle and then I grab our orange color and I'm going to draw the outside lines of the head of the cat and I first start uh, with this shape and that will be a cat ear I'm using kind of a sketching technique with my marker really trying to find the line uh, I'm looking for so um, it's okay if your line is a little bit wobbly because it's just the technique and the style now I'm going to draw the other cat ear just like that it's a little bit curved to hear uh, what's going on on that side you know how cats do that sometimes I really like it when their ear goes like this one is normal and that one is going <laughs> so here's the outline of our cat head and I am content with it and now I'm going to uh, color in uh, the cat head and I will also uh, be using uh, stripes later because it will be a tiger kitty but I'm going to color it in with a light uh, color first and do you have any uh, pets or cats inside your house? I have a cat um, I adopted him his name is uh, cow little cow and um, first he was a very shy cat and I know that uh, when you adopt a cat from the pound they are very shy so that's okay I gave him his own room and once a day 
I will be in his room and I gave him his food and I would start talking. Just sit down and talk about my day to him. But he would not show his face and he was uh, hiding in the cat uh, nest. In a little cat uh, bed. That's okay, I thought. So I kept doing that and after a couple of months uh, he started to show his little cat nose when I started to talk about the day and I still didn't approach him. I was just sit in the in his room, talk about my day every day. And a few days later he would show his face. Just looking at me. And I would still not approach him. I would just talk about my day and repeat uh, the ritual. So it took, li it took like um, half a year, I think, before uh, he would walk up to me. And then I still would not uh, pet a uh, cow cat. Because uh, if he wants cuddles, he has to uh, ask me for cuddles. I do not want to uh, break our trust. took so long to uh, build up the trust, I did not want to uh, ruin that. So now I'm going to take our orange color and I'm going to draw the lines of the um, tiger kitty head. And I start with the ear. The ear has some fluffs of hair going up, just like this. Very cute. And the other ear also has the same uh, fluffs of hair. Just like that. And then I'm going to draw the lines of the tiger cat uh, face. And the lines will not be uh, the won't be long lines. It will be short lines. And you can just follow me step by step, or you can choose to make your own lines. Um, tiger kitties, I heard every tiger cat has a different uh, drawing on the top of his head that is unique for the cat. And I really love that. <laughs> so I go above the eyes with short lines. Now uh, my cow cat uh, is still scared when someone uh, comes over. He would always hide himself and that's okay. Um, he was treated really badly uh, by people before he went to the pound. And um, I don't blame him that he doesn't trust people. I'm also uh, glad that he's very cautious because I know people are uh, animals and some people just hurt animals and I don't want him to get hurt. I love my little cow cat. I did not like the name. So I tried to give him another name but um, he only responds to uh, Kutje. Kutje means cow cat, or means little cow. Kutje, kutje. I give him in the morning, I give him three little cat treats. And every morning he will wake me up because he wants his cat treats. So I have created a very angry alarm clock and it's all my own fault. Every morning it's earlier and earlier he's starting to meow for his cat treats. This morning it was half six, half past five. He would meow for his treats. So dumb of me. <laughs> I really like uh, cats in general. I think um, earning the love and the trust of a cat is very fulfilling. 
and um, I like I also like dogs but I think uh, dogs like everybody so it's not uh, really special when a dog loves you while when a cat loves you it's really special I'm still uh, drawing the little uh, lines and they're not very long lines again they're short lines uh, on the tiger cat's face uh, I also know that cats are uh, very bad for the environment they kill like uh, lots of birds and if you give your cat a little cat bell the cat will learn how to walk without sounding the bell so um, that doesn't work <laughs> I think that's a very funny fact about uh, how smart cats are and what kind of assholes cats are because I love my cow cat but he's also kind of an asshole sometimes like waking me up so early even though it's my fault uh, he also likes to walk along with me on the stairs and halfway on the stairs he would stop so it's okay if I'm just walking but when I'm carrying some uh, laundry or something it becomes very dangerous to st suddenly stop uh, and I almost fall because I don't want to step on kitty <laughs> but maybe you will recognize those stories if you're a cat owner yourself He also has a, a vendetta against the cat of our neighbor when the neighbor cat is in the, in the, in the garden my cat will be pissed off uh, looking outside <laughs> and now I'm using my orange to uh, give the uh, outside lines of our cat uh, uh, some more body and I'm going to uh, use uh, uh, the light pink almost lavender kind of color to um, color in a little shape behind the cat head so it will stand out more it will be a more dynamic uh, paint um, drawing just like this and uh, somebody requested uh, that I taught them how to uh, do a cat head video how to draw a cat head and uh, I really liked it to think about how to draw a cat head because we all know the, the classic cat head like in the front but I wanted to make it more portrait like because I thought that would be really fun and I think our drawing uh, turned out really really like a cheeky uh, cheeky cat it looks very cheeky then I'm going to draw the whiskers and I use my fine liner and halfway the line I uh, will lift up uh, my fine liner a little bit so you get this shape and now I'm going to do it on the, on the other side also with the same technique I really liked how uh, this uh, drawing turned out if you followed me uh, I hope you're also very happy with the results and if you were just uh, listening to me I think uh, that's very fun and thank you for listening please leave a like you make me very happy with a like and I'll see you the next time bye friends <laughs>